All right, so what I'm doing now is I'm just uh, putting in the spark plugs. I got the heads and all the uh, valve chain stuff done and uh, the valves done. And so now I have the uh, NGK D7EA. So what I've been doing is I take my 25, check the gap here. What I've been doing is actually this gap is, is really good already, but I have this like little mini hammer. Just take this thing, check the gap here, and uh, I can just give it a couple taps here on top of the uh, on top of the uh, 25. And then I take this thing, and uh, here's where it's going, right in there. You can see. So I've been just threading this with my threading this with my uh, hand at first. I didn't put any anti-seize on there, but some some places say that you should put a little bit of anti-seize only at the top so that it doesn't have any risk of going into the cylinder head, but I'm just, because I'll probably be working on the engine sooner than 40 years from now, so I don't have to worry about it seizing, I don't think. I've just been taking the, uh, taking that, putting it in there, and then what I do is I, See, taking this, I, I got a new uh, socket that will fit this bent down the uh, sheet metal there so that, and then what I've been doing is just tightening this down until the crush washer, until you feel the crush washer, or the, uh, the washer crush there a little bit, and then pulling this out. Okay. Uh, it gets hung up sometimes on the sheet metal, which is on the underside, this little lip. So let's check the status of this motor right now. I've got the four spark plugs in. I got the uh, cylinder heads taken care of with the uh, valve, um, all the uh, push rods, lifters, um, the uh, valve uh, lash caps with the Six thousandths um, lash. I have my valve covers with the gaskets. Here I have my. Um, this is a new Brazilian Bosch coil, three ohm. Um, what I've noticed is the Petronix boot here is too loose. So what I did is I bought just a regular old. 99 cent um, basically a, a spark plug wire and I'm just going to take this boot see if that fits any better so just looking at this see that one fits great so I'm going to replace this big boot which works with the Petronics so you can see actually here I made the mistake of buying 0.3 ohm coil, 0.32, that didn't work well. So now I have a three ohm, so I have that if I wanna use that. But I'm not gonna use that because I bought the Brazilian Bosch one. So what I have to do is, let's see if I can catch this. Taking the... Taking this spark plug wire, take this boot off, which, you know, this boot, if you look at the Petronics, Petronics, or however you pronounce it, fits perfectly on a Petronics, but I'm using a Bosch, so it needs a smaller one. So, I just wanna use the same, same wires. So I just feed this thing through here. It's a, kind of a, Tough to get it through. I should probably use some, almost some soapy water and then let it dry, but it seems to be coming through now. So, push that through a little extra. And then, let's see what this looks like. Put it on the Bosch coil until it's all the way in. Which is there, and then I push the boot. So 
so now now it has a fitting there we go fitting boot so this flamethrower here tightened it down i'm not sure if the timing is exactly right i think this looks pretty good actually the chrome i was about to send this back because it was supposed to be a blue bosch coil three ohm and they sent me a one that says Brazilian, it has a blue sticker on a chrome coil, so I was like, what is that? Um, but this, I think I then read the reviews on that part number and it looked like it was good. Uh, reading through my VW book, I made sure I had thread sealant on my uh, oil pressure gauge. So now I'm to the point where I can put on the spark plug wires. All right, I got the spark plug wires. So judging from this, it's going one, four, three, two. So we'll start with one. One needs a long wire. Let's see what kind of wires I've got here. This is a Petronix, Petronix kit. Um, if I look at these wires, it looks like I have basically two long ones, two short ones, where the long ones are the same. So the long one, long ones are gonna go to one. So let's start with one. One is this guy here. Let's see if that's visible. Yeah, here's here's one. Slide it all the way in and then put the rubber boot on there. And we're gonna put this. Let's see. This thing through here. One. Put around. And connect onto the number one. It's a nice click onto the number one spark plug. And just to show what that looks like over on this side, it goes right into here. And it has a nice little rubber, rubber, rubber cover, which I can push in with a screwdriver just to get it past the bolt for the uh, header. That is the. Uh, let's see. I don't know what the best way is for this thing to sit. Huh. Well. All right. That has a number two on it. I'm just wondering. Oh no, that there's a whole bunch of numbers on there. First, I thought maybe I was putting this on the wrong, in the wrong place. But yeah, so that's one, four, three, two. Two is going to be a short one. Same side. So let's go ahead and do that. Three, two. This is two here. Right here is two. One, four, three, two. So I'm going to pull this through in place. Eventually, I'll kind of zip tie these things together so that they. All right, this guy right on here clicks on nicely. It's fairly taut, but I guess that's okay. It's a little bit taut mainly because it has this kind of longer stem coming off there makes this taut but I'm gonna zip tie those and I think it'll I think it'll wind up being good so that's the one two side one four three two so now we go with four four is a short one four is gonna go on here right down to here Clicks on nicely. Put this little cover in place on the other side of the bolt. I guess that should just go inside the sheet metal. I don't know if it's supposed to cover the sheet metal on the outside or really I just am trying to get it past the bolt. Okay, and then the last one is three. So three right here. Good. 
Coming around. Pushing that rubber thing down. All right, so let's take a look at this. Light doesn't work. So we got one, four, three, two, and the coil wire coming around here. So three is here, four. And going under the alternator, these are a little closer because it's a longer feed. But these go here into one and two. All right. All right. So the final thing here, which I, you know, I love zip ties, so I zip tie, zip tie this. These will go under the under this uh, air hose here, coming up here. Zip tie this, and I zip tie these together. And then uh, I zip tied these down to where they separate. So that is all the spark plug wire. So that is in good shape.